Welcome back to another one of my shitty vlogs. In this shitty vlog, I'm just gonna quickly talk about what you can expect for my YouTube channel, my website, basically just what my plan is for you know December of 2021, so finishing up the year, and then also what what's the plan for 2020? Am I gonna be doing Flutter? Am I gonna be doing iOS? Am I gonna continue with Android? Am I gonna be doing Django? Basically, just a just a quick breakdown of what you can expect. So first of all, December. December is gonna be, I'm planning on doing kind of like a Jetpack Compose for Babies free kind of playlist on YouTube. I want to I want to show people how to get started with Jetpack Compose because the course, the, the main course that I'm gonna be working on, the next course I'm gonna be working on is a real-time chat app. So I'm gonna hook it up to openchat.xyz, the website that I just built. You know, I'm gonna integrate a REST API so the, the app has a REST API to authenticate with because you're gonna register on the server or register on the app either way it's because it's going to communicate through that rest api and also hooking up the sockets so it's going to be a real-time chat app because it's a real-time chat website we need to be able to interact with sockets from the app to the website and in that course i'm going to cover kind of all of the newest kind of Android things. I'm just gonna read from my list here. Gonna have Kotlin, of course. We're gonna use clean architecture. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing some testing, not I'm probably not gonna write UI tests. I'm gonna be writing just the testing for the use cases because we're using clean architecture. They'll be relatively quick and I think those are the most important tests anyway. Uh, MVI architecture, uh, Jetpack Compose, because I think moving forward Building UIs the old way is just not going to be a thing. I think even though Jetpack composes in alpha, that that is going to be the way to build UIs going forward in the future. So like I said, Jetpack composes the way. I'm also going to be doing that uh, kind of compose for babies playlist on YouTube. So you can at least get started before diving into this more like difficult app. Um, flow and state flow to manage the, the state from the view model. Uh, sockets, obviously, which I already told you about, which I'll be using OK HTTP probably for that. We're going to be using Hilt. I don't even know what finger I'm on, by the way, anymore. I'm not even counting anymore. Hilt for dependency injection, navigation components, obviously, for navigation. Uh, and we're going to have a notification. So background, foreground, uh, app close, all different types of notifications, because this is going to be a real-time chat app, a real-time everything app. So, you know, if somebody sends you a friend request, you expect to get a notification in real time. So obviously notifications will be a big part of it. And then, like I said already, a REST API, because that's how we're going to be handling uh, user registration, user login, resetting passwords, all that stuff through the REST API. So we'll be using uh, Retrofit for that. So that's the plan. That's the plan for pretty much, that's definitely going to consume December. Um, the Jetpack Compose for Babies sort of playlist on YouTube. I'll probably start, I might even start posting videos next week. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not sure. And I'm going to take you through everything from like installing the preview version of Android Studio so you can use Jetpack Compose and just kind of take you through some... Yeah, basically through the documentation and just teach you all the things that they try to show you in the documentation. But as everybody knows, the documentation is kind of difficult if you aren't super familiar. I don't know. It's just generally difficult, I think, to, to jump into the documentation. I'm going to hold your hand so that you don't have to struggle as much with the docs. And along the way, while I'm publishing that course, I'll also be working on the real-time chat app. And then you might see lectures uh, you know, I'm not really sure. You definitely won't see lectures for that big course until until 2021 for sure. Because it's going to be a fairly fairly large and fairly involved app. But it's going to cover everything. You know, you have, like I said, Kotlin, Clean Architecture, MVI, Jetpack Compose, Flow and State Flow, Sockets, Hilt for Dependency Injection, Testing, Navigation Components, Notifications, literally everything. We're going to have everything in that app. It's going to be, if you, if you just watch that course, that is the course that will show you everything you need to know to be an Android developer. Basically, that's that's what I'm after in this course. So I think that's gonna be it. I just wanna keep this video short and sweet to the punchline, tell you guys what's going on, what to expect in 2021. And after I finish this kind of native Android app with the sockets and the real-time chat, probably what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be starting to dabble a little bit in Flutter. I, I, I have a severe curiosity with Flutter. It looks like a, an excellent pro product, an excellent tool to build apps, especially if you're a freelancer or you're a startup. It's, uh, it's a quick, it has a very quick development cycle. You can build beautiful apps and of course you get iOS and Android. So I'm gonna be spending some time on Flutter. That's the plan anyway. Not that I'm just gonna like avoid native altogether moving forward. I'm gonna do both. I'll be doing native and Flutter. That's the plan for 2021. By the way, if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, give me some kind of engagement. Just go down there and type engagement or Mitch, here's your engagement. I would really appreciate it. 
Thanks, and I will see you in the next video. Sorry, one last thing before I go. I wanted to mention that I did a really great podcast, or I had a really great podcast guest uh, last week, Adam Bennett, who is an Android tech lead. He's been an Android tech lead for, um, I think, about two years now, and he's only been an Android developer for about six years total, which is a really impressive feat. You know, if you guys have spent any time on Android, which all of you have, you know that Android is notoriously difficult. So to go from, uh, you know, a zero to a tech lead in six years is pretty incredible. We talk about a lot of like really interesting Android topics, a lot of the new stuff coming out, Compose, you know, how he ascended the ladder sort of quote unquote so quickly. So I really encourage you, I'm going to put a link up. I think it's going to be on this side uh, for you to go and watch that podcast. It was a really good one. So thanks for watching. And now I'm gone for sure. I'll see you in the next one.